Welcome to Jail Gate ESC lecture. We are in lecture number 54 of EDC. Now this is special diode. That is your third module. This is your third module, special diode. We have successfully completed basic semiconductor physics, your first module, then your second module, PN junction. Now this is your third module, special diode. Now this is the first video lecture of this module this is the first video lecture of this module and the name of the chapter is called breakdown now this breakdown is divided into three beautiful video lectures one will be on avalanche breakdown that we are going to see what, what what is avalanche breakdown actually and the second video lecture will be on gina breakdown and the third video lecture will be on the comparison between avalanche and gina breakdown now the question is what is this third module will consists of what is the content of this special diode now look here carefully our special we have completed this basic semiconductor physics and pn junction now we are in a special diode the special diode consists of four four beautiful chapters tunnel diode diode resistance temperature dependence on vi characteristic vi characteristics and other parameters we'll see in this chapter now uh, we need to quickly we, we are going to quickly finish these two beautiful modules module 3 and module 4 special diode and optoelectronic devices within ar around four hours of time now you'll be amazed by knowing this basic semiconductor physics and pn junction took around if you see at the lecture videos we have it took around it took around 53 video lectures it took around 53 video lectures to complete these two modules now don't get scared by seeing the number that it will going to take 53 lecture videos no actually the duration the total duration if you sum up if you sum sum the total duration of these two lecture that will be come out to be around 10 hours 30 minutes with the, within 10 hours of 30 minutes of time we have finished one of the most important one of the most important uh, module of electronics devices and circuits 50 percent of the questions were asked from this module these two module these two module now let's get started with the chapter breakdown now what is the meaning of breakdown what is that single thing that is going to break the that that thing is nothing but covalent bond of electron and hole pair inside this depletion layer in reverse bias case you understand my point breakdown means breaking of covalent bond breaking of covalent bond in depletion layer in depletion layer under the influence of reverse bias voltage our our goal is to produce electron and a hole pair by breaking by breaking their covalent bond inside this depletion layer now how we are going to break this how we are going to break the covalent bond how you are going to break this covalent bond we we are going to learn two methods high amount of heat energy or high electric field high amount of uh, high amount of phonons high amount of phonons or high electric field by this two method we are going to break this covalent bond if you break the covalent bond by heat energy that will be regarded as uh, that will be regarded as avalanche breakdown now if you are going to break the covalent bond by the help of high electric field that will be regarded as gina breakdown we are going to we are going to look for each and every breakdown one by one now let's get into avalanche breakdown let's break the covalent bond by the help of heat energy by the help of heat energy now this is your pn junction whose depletion width whose depletion width is w and we have applied a reverse bias voltage reverse bias voltage always remember we have applied reverse bias voltage p to uh, lower lower polarity and n side to higher polarity we have applied the reverse bias voltage here now take one normal diode we have taken this normal diode why this is normal diode why this in gina breakdown case we are going to take a uh, other kind of diode we'll see in our gina diode case but now in case of avalanche breakdown let's take a normal diode first and do reverse bias it and do reverse bias it we have reverse biased it okay now vr voltage that is reverse bias voltage will nothing but v naught plus v applied v naught plus v applied now we are going to increase this v applied voltage we are going to increase this 
by increasing this v applied voltage v r value will increase v r value in will increase sir ye v not means v not means potential barrier hai na ha v applied means ye v applied hai na ha so we are going to increase v applied means this external uh, uh, applying applying voltage we are going to increase na ha that is why that is why v r will going to increase na ha this is a very crucial part my dear friend if you increase the v not plus v applied value look here kya if you increase the v not plus v applied value in effective electric field uh, expression was used to be balanced by, by this two ratio was increasing simultaneously in case of reverse biased case we have studied in our reverse bias wala lecture but here we what we are doing we are abruptly we are just increasing this applied voltage we are increasing this applied voltage so to usse kya ho jayega आपका न्यूमरेटर वैल्यू बहुत ज़्यादा इंक्रीज कर जाएगा पहले ये दोनों चीज़ बैलेंस होता था इन द इन द प्रीवियस केस ऑफ रिवर्स वाइज केस दिस टू थिंग्स वेर बैल यूज टू बैलेंस विथ ईच अदर दिस इंक्रीमेंट यूज टू बैलेंस ईच अदर टू मेक दिस इफेक्टिव इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड कॉन्स्टेंट टू मेक दिस इफेक्टिव इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड कॉन्स्टेंट बट राइट नाउ आवर न्यूमरेटर वैल्यू इज इंक्रीजिंग अब्रप्टली so by making e effective increase by making e effective value increase by making e effective value increase to isse kya ho jayega effective we know electric field is proportional to the drift velocity so if you increase the effective electric field listen to this carefully the drift velocity of electron will going to affected that means the drift velocity of electron will going to increase with if you increase the effective electric field नो और ड्रिफ्ट वेलासिटी इज प्रोपोर्शनल टू इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड वहाँ से हम लोग ने म्यू को कॉन्स्टेंट लेके ये सारे रिलेशन को इस्टेब्लिश किया था रिमेंबर दैट रिलेशन हाँ सर याद आ गया हाँ due to which vd increases and increasing drift velocity will affect the kinetic energy of electron so the kinetic energy of electron will increase and the electron will collide with lattice atom the electron will collide with lattice atom with more energy to hamare jo lattice material ke jo lattice points hai sare lattice point mein lattice atoms honge and this with this lattice atom our electron will go and collide with them with more energy with more energy with more energy and due to this collision listen to this carefully but due to this collision due to this collision there will be evolution of more and more amount of heat energy more and more amount of heat energy now that heat energy will going to responsible for the breakdown and that breakdown will nothing but called as avalanche breakdown acha sar that that heat energy the heat energy which, which will get from the collision of electron with lattice atom sir that heat energy will become responsible for the breakdown of covalent bond ha that is what i have written the leads to evolution of heat energy and that heat energy or phonon became responsible for breaking of covalent bond सर ये थोड़ा आप डायग्राम करके समझाओ ना मुझे थोड़ा कन्फ्यूजन हो रहा है ना लुक या क्या अपनी फोनन्स आर रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर एवलेंच ब्रेकडाउन फोनन्स आर लेस रिस्पॉन्सिबल फोनन्स एडीसी लैंग्वेज में हीट एनर्जी को फोन ऑन बोलते हैं सो फोन हाउ डिड वी गेट दिस हीट एनर्जी बिकॉज आवर इलेक्ट्रॉन आफ्टर गेनिंग काइनेटिक एनर्जी इट कम्बाइंड और इट 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 कोलाइड विथ नॉट कम्बाइंड इट कोलाइड विथ लैटिस एटम लैटिस एटम तो उससे जो हीट एनर्जी पैदा हुआ वो हीट एनर्जी जाके they break the covalent bond and produce another electron and hole pair again that electron will gain some kinetic energy and again it collide with uh, the lattice atom again there the evolution of heat energy that heat uh, the evolu that that heat energy will become responsible for the breaking of next covalent bond and producing another electron and hole pair in this way this is going to done avalanche multiplication isi tarike se aapka avalanche मल्टीप्लीकेशन होता है दिस इज हाउ योर एवलेंच मल्टीप्लीकेशन इज डन सो दिस दिस प्रोसेस इज कॉल्ड एवलेंच मल्टीप्लीकेशन नाउ दिस एवलेंच मल्टीप्लीकेशन इज लीड्स टू एवलेंच करेंट प्रोडक्शन एवलेंच करेंट प्रोडक्शन this is your concept for avalanche breakdown so basically your avalanche breakdown is basically dependent on the <coughs> evolution of heat energy or the evolution of thermal energy must watch our gener diode wala lecture video to <coughs> understand the beautiful concepts of gener breakdown
Okay, with this we are done with today's lecture. Thank you so much for your patience. If you have any question, query, feedback or suggestion for this video on this channel, feel free to write it down below in the comment box. And if you want more and more videos like this, give us a thumbs up and do subscribe to our channel, Jail Kate ESC Lecture. See you in the next lecture. Till then, bye.